Paul, you're from Crookston, Minnesota, 140 miles south of Winnipeg, town of 8,000 people, but what a perfect environment in which to play the game of hockey, wasn't it? Oh yeah, absolutely. It was a lot of fun growing up there and playing hockey in the community. Your dad, John, a renowned coach of the high school hockey team up there, and a backyard rink that uh, his is legendary. Tell us about it. Well, uh, you know, he'd make it every every uh, <laughs> you know every winter, and and you know all the neighborhood kids that were you know f 10, you know maybe eight years older than me would all skate, and we'd uh, it'd be a routine. You know, we'd get home from school and then throw our backpacks in the in the kitchen, put our skates on in the mud room, and then head out to the head out to the rink, and then uh, you know spend all day out there, and then go home, eat dinner, and then go back out for another three, four hours, and then go to bed. It was a daily routine. It was a lot of fun. Rink is 40 by 80 feet. You've got lights, and you've got speakers, and there's some interesting music being pumped out. Tell me about that. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> my dad always said, you know, you can't go wrong. Nobody has ever has a, sm uh, a frown on their face when they're listening to polka music. So <laughs> it's, uh, and, you know, if, if you're listening to some of our music, you know, like, oh, we don't want to listen to that song. So it's, it's just something, you know, everybody enjoyed, and and uh, everybody did have us around their face when we listened to it. It was uh, it was a lot of fun. I have a couple polka songs on my uh, on my iPod for my dad when he rides in the car with me. Sometimes it's a lot of fun. Roll out the barrel and uh, beer barrel polka. Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And there's uh, and no beer in heaven. So I, he, my dad really likes that song too. So and no boards, all snow banks. And I think that puts an emphasis on puck handling skills, right? Because if that puck's going east or west, you're going to lose it. Oh yeah, absolutely. And it was a lot of fun to hit hit my brothers into the snow banks too. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you made a big choice at the age of 15 to go to the W and play for Portland. Uh, how difficult was that, considering your dad was the high school hockey coach? And I think back uh, a few years, that was, that was almost scandalous in your hometown. Yeah, you know, it's, uh, at the time, you know, I was 15, I was ignorant. You know, back then, I didn't really know the consequences or the uh, magnitude of my decision because, you know, I'm just a young kid and I want to play hockey at, at the next level and whatnot. So, you know, it's one of those things where I just... Uh, made the decision on what I felt was right for me and you know I just loved Portland and what they stood for and the fan base and the guys on the team and you know I just it was almost like an easy decision and then I found out you know maybe a month later when I was out there like oh my dad took some heat for this I felt kind of bad and he's like no Paul like I've had my fun I've done my my dues my due diligences and uh, you know you just go have fun and, and make this make this a dream come reality and as great as Crookston was for an environment Portland maybe even better you had a chance to go to Memorial Cup and playing with a tremendous hockey team Oh yeah, you know, you, you go up and down the list, you know, Derek Pouliot, Seth Jones, Tyler Watherspoon, Troy Witkowski, uh, Nick, Ty, uh, Brennan Leipzig, Taylor Lear, Oliver Bjorkstra, and Ch I mean, the, the team was stacked that year. It was a lot of fun to play on that team and, and be a part of it. How important was the Ivan Halenka tournament in 2013 in hastening your development to get uh, to this stage? Uh, it helped my development a lot. You know, you, you, I got a chance to see, uh, you know, other players around the world. You know, I played against Finland, I uh, played against Russia, I played against... Uh, uh, Czech Republic, you know, it was a lot of it was a lot of fun, and it was a really cool experience to go over there and represent the uh, United States of America. And sadly, we lost to the Canadians in the gold medal game, but uh, you know, it was a good game. It was a lot of fun over there. Lastly, a northern Minnesota boy. How special is it to get down to Florida here and enjoy some of this warmth? Uh, I, I don't know if I can put it into words. It's just a lot of fun, and I'm just so excited to be down here and have and such a humbling experience to be invited down from my agency and and uh, you know be a part of this and, and really take it all in. I've never been to Florida, so I've been sitting on the beach for a while, so it's, uh, it's a lot of fun, a lot of fun.